What are analysts saying about whether we're going to see the peak of shipping rates? Yeah, you know, the expectation is that this is not going to be the peak. You know, we've seen shipping rates for both dry, dry bulk goods like coal and, and uh, iron ore rising. You know, it's risen for the tenth day now; it's the highest since 2010. We've seen container rates rising; they're at you know, record levels, you know, hundreds of percent above what they were last year. And you know, there's no indication that this, uh, the, these spikes are going, to, are going to subside anytime soon. The demand for shipping goods is still too strong. And it's really overwhelming the ability of, of carriers to carry that with the current fleet that they have. Are we at least seeing some positive developments when it comes to the situation at Ningbo Port? Yeah, there are some positive developments. It looks like the, the, the port has sort of had a soft open. There started to, some ships have left the port. They've come in in the last week and have left the port. It's not officially open yet, but you know, looking at satellite data, we've seen a few ships have left in the last two, uh, one or two days. So. The indications are that that is going to come back online after being shut for two weeks. But, you know, that's just looking at the numbers there, it's an indication of how much demand there is. Even with the, one of the terminals of the port being shut, they were still doing more containers than they had been doing on average between April and July. So even losing 25 percent of their capacity, they were still running higher than they had been early this year, which just shows how much demand there is for shipping goods out of ports in China. James, how much is it really these, uh, you know, COVID-related restrictions and, and changes that are affecting the ability of these logistics and supply chain um, operations to go smoothly, particularly going into such a key time of the year? It's definitely having an effect. I mean, it's hard, you know, demand is just generally up. Ch exports from China are at record levels. Exports from other countries are at record levels. So the demand would have been there even without, you know, without COVID. But I mean, even without these COVID restrictions on, at ports or the, in, the difficulty companies are having in changing crews out uh, because of COVID restrictions in various places, the demand for shipping goods would have still been there. But these things are making it worse. Like you, the, the, sh the slowdowns you saw at Yantian Port earlier this year, the slowdowns that have now happened because of, of, of this at Ningbo, I mean, it's just exacerbating an already really difficult situation.